Hi, I'm anchor Samuel Collins. You won't remember me from such films as Honey, I Used to Be a Journalist and the Greek tragedy I Used to Have a Career, Some Nobody Used to Bring Me Coffee and now I work here on YouTube. Here at Proverbial Monkeys our mission is to transform thinly veiled rage into the kind of sarcasm that people mistake for genuine satire. But because working from house arrest means wiring your own lav mic and your producer knowing where you are 24-7, I'm also my own sound man. And because YouTube is a multi-level marketing scheme where YouTubers make videos about how to make better videos for YouTubers who make videos, so that the original Big Brother can convince us proles to compete against each other for a Warholian fantasy of celebrity that's never existed, instead of working together against the continual consolidation of information and power, as America is carved up between the technocrats and the theocrats and we descend into a neo-feudalist nightmare, our AI overlords rank tech comparison reviews that flog shit through the roof. So here we are. Reviewing shit. Yes, that's right. Today I'm here to tell you everything I never wanted to learn about microphones before the government refused to furlough the sound department. Today I'll be giving a quick rundown of microphones for indoor dialogue and comparing the stag whatever that says, the Audio Technica some random numbers, and the Octava something in Russian, with a cameo from a provocatively long shotgun microphone from Sony. If, like me, you figured that one penis extension was much like the next, then you'll be as surprised as I was to discover that bigger isn't always better, and you really do get what you pay for. So that's two things that my ex and Donald Trump's legal team have in common. First though, we'll take a quick auditory spin through a couple of cheap microphone options and how best to use them to instill a genuine feeling of nausea in your audience. Now you're going to want to listen to these comparisons through an expensive looking set of headphones to really experience the difference between the mild travel sickness induced by cheap lav mics and the trapped on a Covid cruise ship level of nausea a really bad shotgun can provide indoors. And besides, if you can't live down looking pretentious alone in your bedroom while feeding your camera porn addiction, how do you expect to live down the looks you'll get at the bus stop on Monday mornings while feeding your lockdown induced actual porn addiction now that everyone has to go back to the office for absolutely no reason. Topping off at number 7 there's this iPhone lav mic that I picked up on eBay for $5, but can you get the sound file off your phone without wiping all your photos? Seriously, can you? If anyone knows a judgement free data recovery service, please post in the comments below. If you've blown your wad on a sexy new camera you'll never learn how to expose properly, you could save some mortgage payments with our second entry. In at number 6 it's the in-camera microphone. This baby is lovelessly designed by optical engineers who resent sound, specifically for people that hate their audience. Hmm, tempting. If however you just hate yourself you can always try a $20 camera mounted shotgun like this boa whatever I scraped off the bottom of eBay, in at number 5. Like so much in life, good post-production is about hiding the evidence, but after spending two weeks trying to filter this reverb through Audacity, you'll want to shoot your camera, your computer, YouTube, your producer Larry, everyone you live with and then yourself, and trust me on this, there's really no hiding that sort of mess, is there, Larry? If you hate yourself but lockdown's given you an internet spending addiction, you could use something like this $350 Sony ECM674 shotgun in at number 4. With shotguns being traditionally reserved for location, this mic probably sounds great outdoors, but who the fuck knows? I haven't left the house in 6 months and I'm starting to bark at the postman. It's an XLR mic, so normally you'd need an external recorder which may cost the same as an iPhone but only does voice memos, and even though it doesn't vibrate the Sony takes a AA battery, so with an XLR to 3.5 cable you can use the 1920s preamps in your $4000 camera to make this expensive pencil dick sound like cheap shit full of room reverb. 
It also suffers from proximity effect, as I'm about to demonstrate. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. Black lives matter. If you don't know why this still needs to be said over and over and over again, that's because you're the fucking problem. Here, let me Google how do I check my white fucking privilege for you. Links in the description below, you fucking racist. In at number three is this Stag CM5060 overhead drum condenser that came free with a shock mount. It's an inexpensive condenser that needs a fair bit of filtering, but its hypercardioid capsule should have much less proximity effect. So let's test that out, shall we? Transliberation now. Transliberation now. Transliberation now. If you don't know why this still needs to be said over and over and over again, that's because you're the fucking problem. Let me Google how do I check my straight cis fucking privilege for you. Links in the description below. You fucking bigot. At number two, we have the Audio Technica AT8033 Cardioid Condenser. At $200, it's a solid, if flat sounding, performer. And even though it's thicker and takes a AA battery, it still doesn't vibrate. It won't get you off, but you can get a decent microphone before springing for an external recorder. We found this one used for $80 because it has a rusty battery spring. So thanks for that, Larry. Cardioid microphones should have the least proximity effect, so let's give it a shot. Resist gerrymandering and voter suppression. Resist gerrymandering and voter suppression. Resist gerrymandering and voter suppression. If you don't know why this needs to be said, that's because, yes, you guessed it, you're the fucking problem. Here, let me Google, am I fascist, racist, or both, for thinking black people shouldn't vote, for you. Links in the description below. You fucking racist, fascist, bigoted piece of shit. Coming in hot at number one is the Octava MK012 movie set kit. The clue here is in the name. This one sounds pleasing with little to no filtering. It's also the most expensive at $230, but you can often find suicidal failed YouTubers flogging theirs on eBay for a third off. It's a hypercardioid, so let's test it out, shall we? If you think you can spend your way out of the climate apocalypse, you're wrong. If you think you can spend your way out of the climate apocalypse, you're wrong. If you think you can spend your way out of the climate apocalypse, you're wrong. If you're surprised this needs to be said, that's because, yes, you're the fucking problem. Let me Google climate change, just exactly how fucked are we, for you. Spoiler alert, we are so fucking fucked. But at least the link is in the description below. And here's a special bonus entry from the Octava Medium Diaphragm Cardioid Condenser. This one may look like a hemorrhoid, but it has little to no proximity effect, so let's just skip to the punchline, shall we? In this era of environmental devastation, do we have any time left for the political right versus the political left, when politicians are only ever on the side of politicians? Or is politics merely a hyper-normalising distraction from the fact that no fucker is in control and no government is powerful enough to stop the minecart of climate change from careening into the chasm of environmental annihilation. Someone? Anyone? Someone Google that for me. And now a word from our sponsees. This video brings to you the American Civil Liberties Union, fighting to protect rights no one wants you to know you have since, well, Republicans, the Good Law Project, uncovering nepotism and corruption in the UK government since, well, Tories, and Greenpeace, protecting life on Earth since, well, humans. Hate your life? Fight back. Donate today. Links in the description below. So what have we learned from all this? Well, if anything at all, it's that shotguns really are for outdoor use only. To aim higher, when trying to shoot your producer through an upstairs window during an unannounced welfare check. And to pay your lawyers up front. 
next time on Proverbial Monkeys News Network, fucking lighting.